before there are too many of these on the road. And so I guess we'll just await the report now because I don't really know what the plans were uh, beyond what the chief said in the state that you know. A, que a question, Mr. Mayor. Uh, okay, you're please, not a one, one, Miguel, but, me, but one but question, please. Okay, we had tools, the the, um, the tasers, we had the cameras on discussion of the budget. However, we miss important tools that used in European countries. Police departments in Europe, when they deal with people with mental illness, they, they use plastic shields uh, to defend themselves, being attacked and protect themselves. I don't know. This is seems to work in Europe. But I don't know why it's not being implemented in, in Toronto. Uh, I will promise you, because you've asked about it, I'm not aware of it either, that I will ask the chief about it. I will just tell you, I had a discussion with him this morning before the board meeting about the fact that one thing we don't tell you enough about is how much is going on with respect to training the police to do the most important thing of all they can do, and to uh, which is de-escalation through, yeah. uh, you know, through what I'll call we want, we want to so save on. lives. And uh, you know, the objective is to save lives. The objective is to make sure that we don't see people getting shot. Um, you know, when they're disturbed or when there's some kind of disturbance going on. And there are various different ways to achieve that, but by far the best, of course, is de-escalation. That's even better than plastic shields, but I'm not familiar with the plastic shield uh, tool. I can get uh, you a video. I, I, will, uh, I will ask the chief about it. And, yeah. uh, but I, I also did raise with him the fact that I, I would hope we could give you more of an opportunity to see, and through you, the public, to see how much training is in fact going on, dramatically increased over what was done two or three years ago on de-escalation and on working on that end of this, which I think is by far the most important and potentially useful uh, skill set that our police officers can have, uh, assisted by the mobile uh, crisis intervention team. So we're working at that, and the objective is, of course, as you know, to have zero uh, incidents where people uh, are put in jeopardy, injured, or, or lose their lives uh, in an instance where uh, people with uh, mental illness or others uh, come into contact with Yes. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Very, very well. William Hubbard uh, yes. who was a, a pioneering yes. politician, uh, acting mayor, uh, son of freed slaves from Virginia, um, were naming a